The area in volume calc command will allow you to outline an area and fill the area with a material. The command will store the information for the material list or the estimate and proposal commands from the tool menu. An area may be colored with a solid fill, a gradient blend of colors, a hatching pattern, or an image file that is assigned to the first material that is selected to fill the area. There is no limit to the number of areas you may have per a design. Roll the scroll button on the mouse to zoom in on an area. Press and hold down the scroll button to move or pan the drawing around on the screen. You can open the Area, Volume Calcs, and Fill Materials command from the Landscape menu or by clicking on the toolbar icon. Before outlining an area, make sure that you have set up the materials that will be used to fill the area on the Fill Materials tab. You can group fill materials into different categories. You can add categories and you can add fill materials. Once the fill materials are created, click on the Areas tab. There are three different methods of filling an area and we will cover each of these methods. The first method is to manually outline the area. Select Draw Manual from the drop-down menu and click on the plus sign to begin adding an area. The dialog box will temporarily disappear from the screen. Follow the status bar at the bottom of the screen and set points on the drawing by clicking with the left mouse button to outline the area to fill. If you are setting points on an existing line such as the building line, you can press the right mouse button to snap onto the existing corners. If you need to outline a curved area, set multiple points along the curve to create short line segments. Once the area is outlined, press the enter key to end the process and return to the dialog box. A new area will be added to the list and will be ready to rename. If necessary, click on the Rename button and change the area name to something that best describes the area. In this example, we will enter Patio Pavers. In the Area Field Properties section of the dialog box, click on the Show Area Border checkbox until the check mark is removed to hide the outline. If you leave the box checked, the outline will display a border around the area. Click on the drop-down menu to the right of Fill Material 1 and select a material from the list. The Fill Material settings for the gradient fill or the hatching pattern or the image that is assigned to the first Fill Material will be displayed on the design screen. Since we are not calculating a volume of Fill Materials for the pavers, we will not enter a value in the Depth text box. We will need to select the base materials required to install the pavers. We will click on the drop down menu to the right of Fill Material 2 and select Sand for the base material. To calculate a volume of the sand, we will enter a depth of 3 inches in the Depth text box. We now have the area of pavers calculated in square feet and the volume of sand for the base material calculated in cubic yards. The second method to calculate an area is to select the entities that create an enclosed area. The entities must intersect each other and create a completely closed area. If the entities do not create a closed area, the command will not work. Make sure the entities intersect each other. If they do not, select an entity, click on an endpoint, and move the endpoint to intersect with another entity and click one time with the left mouse button. Choose From Selection from the drop-down menu and click on the plus sign to begin adding another area. Select all of the entities that create an enclosed area. Either drag a window around the entities or click on each entity one at a time while holding down the Shift key on the keyboard. Once the entities are selected, press the Enter key on the keyboard. If more than one enclosed area is selected, a message box will appear. Notice that the area making up the front porch is an enclosed area as well as the front flower bed. Click inside of the front flower bed to calculate the area. Enter a name for the area and select a fill material.
To calculate a volume of fill material, enter a depth in inches. The final method of calculating an area is to set a point within an enclosed area. Choose From Point from the drop-down menu and click on the plus sign to begin adding an area. Click one time with the left mouse button inside of a totally enclosed area. If the area is not enclosed, the command will not work. Make sure all entities intersect one another. Enter a name for the area and select a fill material. If necessary, you can place this information on the drawing screen. Click on the Insert Data button to place the selected area volume information on the design screen. Adjust any of the font settings as necessary and click on the Place Text button. Set one point on the design screen for the bottom left corner of the text. Click on the close button to exit the dialog box. The fill material may appear on top of existing lines on the drawing. Select the fill patterns and use the Edit, Draw Order, Move to Back command to move the fill patterns behind other drawing entities. You can speed up the design process by temporarily turning the fill patterns off in the Layer Manager. Open the Layer Manager and click on the Show Fills checkbox to turn the fill materials on or off on the design screen.